All right, everybody, how's everybody doing? Great. Yeah, all right. Well, welcome all everybody today. And uh, you know, I feel full of energy now for the third time. So <laughs> it's all good. We're videotaping this series. And the series is What is Network Marketing? We have an uh, awesome trainer here, Mr. James Wiggins, who is able to understand how to tame this beast called network marketing, how to not only control it, but train other people to do the same. How many people here understand that he shot up the ranks in his first weekend? <clears throat> Went there. You know, in our company, it would be the equivalent rank of double platinum, platinum in a weekend. By doing what he understands how to do, by leveraging people, by leveraging this beast we call network marketing. So we're going to bring up James. We're going to give him a top 1% welcome. <laughs> so everybody, Mr. James Wiggins. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? That sound okay? Yeah. Are you got energy? Yeah. Okay, great, great. Well, first of all, welcome here. It's kind of funny. I'm looking at um, out here in the audience, and most of the people here are my direct enrollments. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we got to work on duplication. Is that fair? Because your direct enrollment should be here. All right? So I just had to throw that on camera because it's very important that we duplicate. But what we're going to talk about in this four weeks, we're going to get a little bit more in depth with what Gano Life actually does, what Gano Life actually is. But the first uh, training is the basics. Everybody say basics. Basics. This is something that we tend to forget. Does that make sense? In order to teach something, you have to succeed in it first. Does that make sense? So when I got involved in network marketing, I took the, the, uh, the time out to actually study a little bit about the, the trade. So maybe if you got a pen and pad, and for those at home have a pen and pad, write this down. My first year in network marketing by Mark Yarnell. It's one of the best books out there, and this book will, will definitely give you information uh, on what it takes to be a professional network marketer. How many people understand this is a profession? So if you do this as a hobby or if you do this uh, as a rookie and you stay uh, doing it as a rookie, you're going to get paid as a rookie. But if you take it and you really analyze this and, and understand that this is a professional industry where there's more millionaires in network marketing than, than any other industry in the world, more than oil, real estate, uh, entertainment, network marketing is not perfect, but it's better. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started, and, and, and this first week is what is network marketing? I think a lot of people don't understand what network marketing is, and that's why they make it difficult. Does that make sense? Sometimes you got to, have you ever seen those books at like, um, well, I don't even know if Barnes & Noble's still open, huh? Because everything's online, but Barnes & Noble's, they have uh, everything for dummies. Does that make sense? A lot of times people write books or people teach for people to, to and they're teaching too intelligent. Yeah. Sometimes you got to dummy it all the way down for you to really understand it. Does that make sense? Uh, and, and the training we're going to be doing in two weeks is going to be on the colors. And colors is, is one of my favorite trainings where you can actually identify the characteristics of people. But I want to share a story real quick about a, a, an amazing lady. She's a diamond in our company and she's a green. Okay, anybody know what green is? That means very analytical, uh, want to study every website, want to read every letter, want to cross every letter, want to know about the CEO, want to know if I have children, want to know if I'm married. Those are greens. They want all the information. But her first presentation, because she's so smart, no one understood it. Does that make sense? She was talking about infusing the body with Ganoderma. I was like, infuse the body? What does that mean? Because I'm a blue, I'm a dummy, okay? So we're going to, but everybody give a round of applause for our diamond, Miss Lori Ann Hayes. Well, do not laugh at my PowerPoint, okay? Because it took me, this one actually usually takes me about a week to make them. This one took me about three days to make. It's 10 slides. That's fun. I'm being funny. Y'all can laugh too. Okay. Did you know? All right. But network marketing, let's talk about it. I broke the word down, network marketing, for a reason, okay? Some people say the word, but they don't really understand what the word means. Net. So the first word I want to talk about is net. How many people understand if you throw a pole out there, how many fish can you catch at one time? One. But if you throw a net out there, how many fish can you catch? A whole lot, all right? So the net part in network marketing means connecting people to create a net, okay? Now, it also means you net the amount of money 
based on the amount of work you put in. You do no work, you make no money. Is that fair? A lot of people uh, get frustrated in our industry, but it's funny. How many people here have, have, have had a job, have a job, want a job, know what a job means? How many people, anybody? Raise your hand. Okay, now, if you showed up to work, did you get a, if you don't show up to work, do you still get a paycheck? No. no. So what makes you think if you don't do what it takes to get a paycheck here, you're going to get one? So we got to do the work, right? So that's the work aspect. And marketing. Everybody say marketing. Marketing. Network marketing was truly conceived based on the fact that there's, there's a, a bunch of ways of marketing. You got television, commercials. Does that cost a lot of money? Yes. Okay. But what we've done is we've created a group of people to share a product. So that's the way we market. Now, there are other ways of marketing. We're going to share that in another training where we break down different aspects of marketing within the way we do it here at Gano Life. But I just want everybody to understand what this word means. you got to create a net. If you only have one person in your organization, do you have a net? No. You have a fishing pole. All right? Yeah. Work. you got to put in work. Every, everybody say every single day. Every single day. Even if it's two hours a day, you got to work your business. I don't know if you've seen what happened to me today, but I got a flat tire. I was on the side of the freeway. Anybody seen that on Facebook? <laughs> Did you see what the end result of that? You're a customer. A customer. I sold a box of cappuccino to the, to the AAA guy for $22. Can I have a round of applause? Thank you very much. Hey, do you drink coffee? Yes. How do you like your coffee? Cream of sugar or black? Cream of sugar. Cream of sugar? If I can introduce you to a coffee of pay, would you be interested? That's all I did. But if you don't say nothing, you won't make any money. All right? Okay. So let's move forward. Linear income versus residual. Everybody say linear. Linear. Everybody say residual. Residual. 99% of Americans have been conditioned from birth to create linear income. Linear income means you're going to exchange your time for the rest of your life for a paycheck. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take, take it up another notch. Let's say you make $30 an hour, which is a very good job, correct? And let's say you work 20 hours a day, okay? How much money are you making per day? 600 correct? Okay, so let's say you do that five days a week. So you're working 20 hours a day. So you only got four hours to take a bath, see your family, uh, do anything. 20 hours a day. You can make $600 a week. You do that five days a week. The maximum you can make is $3,000 a week by working 20 hours a day, making $30 an hour. Think about that for a second. So you can make 12 grand a month, but after taxes, which you'll be in a 50, 55%, 60% tax bracket, how much are you really making? Think about that for a second. Okay? Then you have what's called residual. Everybody say residual. Residual. You do something once and you get paid over and over and over and over again. I love God on Life. Can we give God on Life a round of applause? Seriously. I came home from a trip, had five checks, went there yesterday, had two. I don't even know where the check's coming from, don't care. All right? But guess what I did? I created a net. We're going to talk about that a little later. I created a net. So linear income, exchange your time for money. Okay? That means you can't take off. That means beautiful things going on in your life. You got to miss them. That means you can't go to Club Med for eight days. You can't go to the Philippines next year, a $10,000 trip, because you have to work a job. Now, I'm not knocking that. You got to do what you got to do. But you create a residual. It comes no matter what. Let me give you some examples of residual. Anybody ever heard of a famous athlete called, named Kobe Bryant? Yes. Do you think that's residual income that he makes? It's residual. Because he makes a piece off of every person that purchases a ticket. Think, I just want to open you up a little bit. If they don't buy a basketball ticket to fill that stadium up, he don't get paid. Does that make sense? It's the same exact thing here. All right? F write this down. One of the most important pieces, five-year commitment to freedom. Everybody say freedom. Freedom. Do you know what freedom really means? Nope. The ability to do what you want when you want to do it, no matter what. If we're not able to do that, are we free? No. We are not free. 
Freedom, five-year commitment to freedom. Now, what that solely means is give your business five years. We've been working jobs 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and we still have no money. Why wouldn't we give something that can take care of us for the rest of our lives five years? And if you think about it, the minimum that you would have to pay per year at Gano Life to own your own business is $1,200 a year. $1,200 a year, which is 100% tax deductible. Get out a round of applause. So $1,200 a year, and that's product. And you have a Gano Life business. Five-year commitment. Everybody say five-year commitment. Five-year commitment. No matter what. Don't let your family members, don't let the people you don't like, don't let people that, that you do not inspire to be like talk you out of this. How many times do we allow that? How many times do we allow things like a flat tire on the freeway to stop you from coming to do a training? That motivated me. <clears throat> How often do we let situations that's going to happen regardless stop you from achieving your goals? You know, I want to just share a little story about Mr. Arliss Moore. Uh, if you don't know, Arliss is very silent in his business, meaning that he's not one that's running around posting everything on Facebook, but Arliss has well over $20,000 in his pay leg this week. So give him a round of applause. He has a lot of people doing a lot of work, which is creating leverage. Now, Arliss, how many years you've been doing this? Uh, a little over a year. A little over a year. So as his people start to create their own net, guess what happens to his net? Bigger. Gets bigger. But again, if you don't create a net, if you don't invest in your business, it's not going to happen. Is that fair? Yeah. All right. Supplement your income. A lot of people get started and they want to quit their job. No. Everybody say no. No. Don't you do that. Do not quit your job. Stay on your job. But as you start to build your business, it's going to start to supplement your income. It's going to start to add more income. How many people would like to have your full-time pay and an extra $20,000 a year? Anybody? Oh, yes. That's what this will do. And then once you're comfortable enough, then you start to transition out of your job. Does that make sense? But you still got to give this a five-year commitment. Create retirement and the tax breaks. Do I know taxes? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know taxes. The tax breaks alone mm -hmm by owning a home-based business are absolutely amazing, but consult your accountant. So when you do your taxes this year, do not do a short form. Do not just do a W-2 quick form. You need to consult with your accountant. The tax benefits are bananas, all right? Oh, did y'all see that? Give me a round of applause for that. I didn't know that worked. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit more into what network marketing is. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, I need y'all to wake up a little bit though. I know I'm not born. No. Are y'all ready? Yes. yes. All right. So how many of you out there, you know, in your, in your business, and you're out there fully selling the product? You're just out there talking about the product, talking about the mushrooms, talking about uh, how it grows on logs, talking about the fungus, talking about how many of you doing that? <laughs> Write this down. Facts tell, but stories sell. That's too much information. The first thing someone's going to do, because remember, this business is about duplication. The first thing someone's going to do is say, I got to remember all that. I got to do all that. I'm cool. Does that make sense? Your story sells people. Lorianne, do you mind standing up here and sharing your story real quick? Can we give Lorianne Hayes a round of applause? Thank you very much. Um. My story, uh, approximately three and a half years ago, I survived a very massive stroke. I, was survived, I survived the stroke. However, I was paralyzed on the right side of my body completely. Um, at the time, I weighed approximately 398 pounds, and my blood pressure was approximately 240 over 140 with 33 pills of medication per day. Um, I have since lost over 160 pounds. Woo woo. <laughs> And um, I no longer take any medication whatsoever for my high blood pressure. I do, however, take Organolife 365 Vitashield supplements. <laughs> and um, 
I have way more energy. My blood pressure is now approximately 126, 128, 126, over 68, which is fantastic. And um, just so you know, I'm a mother of seven. I raised 11 and a grandmother of nine. So I've earned the little elevation that there is. But that's my story. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Can we give her a real round of applause, please? Thank you. Now, now this is her story, OK? So I, we're not saying that we cure, mitigate any disease. This is Miss Lorianne's story. And it's, it's her story. It's a true story. Now let me ask you a question. Is that a lot easier than selling facts? Yes. How many people out there know someone that's overweight? How many people know someone that has high blood pressure? How many people know someone that's sick? But if you can just do the business and say, hey, listen, let me get Lorianne on the phone to connect them with this person, that's a guaranteed sale. But are we doing that? We're not doing that. No. I've, I've ran into a lot of people with, with uh, the C word, the illness, and Steve Higgs, uh, sister-in-law has one of the most amazing stories I've ever heard. I will not try to talk to a person that has cancer. I would immediately put them on the phone and allow, allow them to speak to Mr. Higgs' sister so she can share what this product has done for her. Does that make sense? Yes. So write this down. Yes. Stories sell. People are not going to remember the facts anyway but they're gonna remember your story. Does that make sense? All right, tell your story. Third party tools, write this down. Third party tools. Now after you tell your story, now let's say for example, I tell, to, uh, uh, I tell my story and they say, well James, you know what? I want to know more, all right? How many of you get so excited that you start to talk? Don't do it. Don't do it. Even if you can enroll them in the business, a third party could enroll them at a higher level. So if you're putting an average person at an X1, if you put Mr. Marimoto on the phone as an expert, you edify him properly, that's going to be an X2 or an X3. If everybody you put in is a genesis, if you put someone else on the line, that's going to be an X2, X3. Does that make sense? Yes. You have to pass the buck. Everybody say pass the buck. Pass the buck. Now, what are third party tools? The, the video. If you have not set up your video in your back office, you need to go with your upline immediately and set up the third party video. So after you share your story, you send them a quick link and let them watch that quick video. Another third party tool, three-way call. Everybody say three-way call. Three-way call. You want to get on the phone with your upline after you give them uh, an exposure. What you don't do as well, are you ready? During a three-way call, never de-edify who you're calling. This is important because a lot of y'all do this. Y'all looking at me crazy, but a lot of y'all do this. Never, whoever you're edifying, their, their name is not their first name. It's Mr. or Mrs. Can you do that? Yes. Also, do not tell them the whole story and then put on the person to tell the same story. So it's either after they, do you need me? Okay, so it's either after they, they, they've seen the exposure, you want to say, you know what, I'm new, right? This is important. I'm new at this, but I'm working with someone, with, and you can go, if you want to go general, with a humongous heart and a humongous bank account. His name is Mr. James Wiggins. Let me share you, his stories all over YouTube. He's helping a whole lot of people make a whole lot of money. Let me see if I can get Mr. Wiggins on the phone. Now, if you do that properly, which we don't do enough of, they will get in the business. But if you're trying to sell them, you end up starting to beg. Because these people know you, they don't trust you. So what you start to get is offended. You start to feel like, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Why aren't you doing this? This is coffee, dummy. But what you're not understanding is people don't buy product, they buy people. Right. Does that make sense? So everyone you talk to, you got to tr put them on a three-way call. You got to get them in front of a live meeting. You got to do it. You have to do it. E even though I could bring people to my home, put, put my cars in the driveway, say, come on outside, let's eat some lobster. 
They still will not sign up. I would, it, it, Lorian, is this a true story? I've had people at my house, and I forget, because we all forget we're human, right? I still get excited when somebody's like, James, I'm ready to come in X3, right? And I've got the pen, the application out, and they're not filling it out. You know why? Because I didn't do my third party. So then I say, oh, let me put you on the phone with Lorianne. Da -da -da -da. Tell her story real quick. Lorianne gets on the phone. Guess what she says? The rain in Spain stay mainly in the plane, and they sign up. <laughs> is this making sense? You got to pass the buck. This is the most important piece to network marketing. Stop being the star of the, your movie that you're directing, producing, and funding. OK? There's other people that play a part in the movie for you to become successful. This is one of the most important pieces I got to get through to everybody today. And you got to pass this to your team. Don't hold this information into you. You got to get this to your team. Does that make sense? All right. Power edification. Funny, I got that. First thing, everybody, repeat after me. Kill, Kill your, your ego. ego. Nobody cares. They don't care about all the cars I used to have. Kill it. No one wants to be around anybody with an ego. Kill it. This will keep you broke. People with egos are usually struggling financially. Can I keep it real? Because if you're not, you got enough confidence, you don't have to have an ego. You don't have to talk about what you have. Does that make sense? Just be happy. You build it from your heart, it's going to keep building. If you build with an ego, people are going to sign up based on pressure, and they won't do nothing after that. Does that make sense? All right? They know you. They remember when you fell off a bike. They remember when you put up a new post on Facebook. They remember when you cussed at somebody. They know you. If you don't edify to a documented leader, they're not joining your business. Does that make sense? Yes. You're not proven. Everybody repeat after me. I, I am, am not, not proven. proven. Listen, when I got into business, you want to know what I did? And I hit double platinum, which still no one's taking advantage of me, and I think I'm one of the best closers in the world. You got to meet my spots. Oh, my God. You got, oh, my. And I have 40 people at my house. They signed up in the middle of the presentation without the presentation even finishing. I stopped it. I said, hey, y'all in and y'all out. I got another group coming in in three hours. Then I did a conference call that night, signed up 10 more people. I am not a professional network marketer. I'm almost there. It takes 10,000 hours to become a professional. Write that down. It takes 10,000 hours to become a professional. But I edified someone to a level that all he had to do was show up with his doorknobs falling off his car and they enrolled. It's a true story. All right? <laughs> the invite. Everybody say the invite. The invite. Listen at this. If you don't invite people, you don't make money. Now, you can't invite people like this. Hi. Can you come to, to my meeting, please? How many of you invite people like that? Please, I'll feed you. Please, my boss gonna be there and he gonna get mad if nobody come. First thing first, be excited. Everybody say be excited. Be excited. See, that's why ain't nobody showing up. Be excited. Let's try this again. Everybody say be excited. Be excited. You gotta be excited. You know why? Because everybody's depressed. So if you are exactly who they are, why would they join you? Look, I walk around and people ask me what I do. I don't have to jump out of a car. I don't got to show a bank statement or a check stuff. You know why? Because I walk like this. <laughs> you know what? I'm excited because I got three checks coming. But I was excited enough to know I was going to have three checks coming. Do you believe that you're going to have three checks coming? That's the first question. You got to be excited. Especially when I'm in front of the room training you. Because I'm actually feeling a little disrespected right now. 
Okay, keep writing, Dan. All right. <laughs> Are you writing, sir? Okay. All right. I had to get you. Okay. Invite with a story. Everybody say invite with a story. Invite with a story. You got to have a story. Don't talk about the coffee and legs growing back. Just have you be excited. I, I'm just around. Let me, I'm going to give you two of, I think, some of the best scripts out there. The first one, you ready? Hey, listen. Listen, artist. Artist, how you doing? You hear that? First of all, artist, how you doing? He's already in. Just because I said, if I can. Artist. Yes, he ain't going to mess with me. <laughs> you see how big artist is? Artist, like, man, you, come on. You don't even believe in what you're doing. Artists, yes, hey, hey, tonight, listen, I got involved with a group that brought healthy coffee to North America. Absolutely. This group is on fire, and they're paying 50% commission. Man, listen, listen, I only got two seats. This is serious business. The top executives are going to be there tonight. Really? Absolutely. It's in the top, Ontario, California. If you're in, I'm going to pick you up. you got to dress for success because these boys and ladies are not playing. I'll pick you up at 6 o'clock. Uh, 5.45. 5.40. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Hey, come to me to a meeting. No. Come with me to a meeting. Don't nobody want to go to no meeting? At least call it a mixer. Who want to go to a meeting? You had a long day at work. You want to go to a meeting? No. Come me to a meeting. Please. <laughs> Hello? Is that making sense? Yes. Another another one, which is which is a great one. Mike. Yes. And it's all about the excitement. Mike, listen, listen. Tonight I meet with some of the executives. Imagine, imagine if you could have brought Starbucks to North America. Would you have been involved? I sure would have. Mike, tonight some of the executives, they're they're expanding healthy coffee to North America. I'd love to introduce you to them. You said healthy coffee? Healthy coffee. Mike, that's all I know. I just got involved. I'm excited and I value your opinion. I'm going to pick you up tonight at 6 o'clock, all right? Okay. Did I ask him? No. I told him. Told Write that down. Stop asking and start telling. Listen, you're asking someone to do something that they've never done before in their life. You're asking someone to do something that has been told what to do their whole entire life. We have been told what to do since birth. So why are we asking someone? We are conditioned to be told what to do. Why do people follow leaders? Because they feel they have been taught to follow. Now once you get in, we're going to teach you how to what? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Must have coffee breaks. Write this down. Every single, if you're doing this full time, you should be doing coffee breaks every single day, every single minute. Listen, let me show you how simple this is. I'm sitting here at uh, Ross. And brother, you are sharp. Is, is he going to get mad and say what? <laughs> Don't talk to me. Who? Really? Man, brother, you are sharp. May I ask you a, a, a question? Yes. Do you keep your income options open? Dude. Great, great. I don't have a lot of time, and I know you're busy, but let me exchange numbers, and I would love to share some information with you. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. All day. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Craig, we're going to go. Craig, give me, give me uh, seven more minutes. Now, men, let me show you how to recruit women. Can you stand up here, please? Felicia, can we give Felicia a round of applause, please? Now. How many people understand the more women in your organization, the more money you're going to make? Men have egos. Men have, write this down. Men have egos. You want to recruit as many ladies as humanly possible. Number one, why? Ladies like to talk. But nowadays, men do too, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, now. Is she, she's dressed very nice, right? Yeah. So go after people dressed nice. Yeah. Stop going after anybody. Hello? This is a business, not a nonprofit. When you make enough money, then you go help them. Right. Hello? Wow. Right? So now she's at Nordstrom's. 
We're at Nordstrom's. Oh, yeah. All right. So she's at Nordstrom's. She needs money. She wants money. And hopefully she has money because she's going to buy X3. All right. Here we go. Now, be over there shopping or something. Look at shoes. Men. Men. Even if you ain't married, put a ring on. You see this, right? Why? Can anybody answer to me? Answer why? There you go. All right. I could, I, I could tell the energy. She's energetic. How you doing? Hey. Hey, how, how you doing? I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm James. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Your name, Mel? My name is Felicia. Felicia? Those are some nice shoes. I've been looking for some shoes like that for my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, where'd you get those from? I got them here. You got them here? Yeah. Where? They're running right the section up there. Oh, okay, okay. Never does that ever happen, but okay. They over there? <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, Felicia, also, do you, you, you look very business savvy. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Yes, I do. You do? Great. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Write that down. Goodness gracious. Who going to say no? No, I'm a worker. No, I'm a wage earner. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? And shut up. Some of you, you can see this on true, because if you do, I got the most amazing opportunity for you. It's coffee, and guess what? This coffee heals people and helps people, and guess what? It, mm -mm. Knock it off. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Yes, I do. You know what? First of all, I cannot wait to introduce you and connect you with my wife, oh, okay. because she's an entrepreneur. You like a woman of power, and I put, it's more important, I want to get her those shoes. Oh, okay. Let me, let's exchange information. I'm going to give you my card, sure. and I'm going to, my wife, her name's Latoya Wiggins, okay. and I, I want to have her connect with you so we can talk a little oh, bit about what we're doing. Yeah. All right. all right. Nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you, sir. Have a great one. Right. Yes. Thank you. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. First thing first, compliment. Always, always compliment. Second thing, or do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Have business cards and get information. Do not go into the pitch. Do not try to sell the coffee. Do not tell them about your amazing website. Do not tell them about how. Co That's it. Why? Why? Can anybody answer why? Too much talking and now you're thirsty. Do anybody like being around anybody thirsty? No. Ladies, have you ever met a thirsty man? <laughs> thirsty, just, just drooling at the mouth. Even if, they're, even if it's an attractive man, if they're thirsty, is this someone you want to be involved with? It's the same thing in business. Everybody write this down. Take away. Always, always take away. If people are not receptive of what you got, take it back. Did you like that product, Mike? Act kind of. No, not really. Not really? Okay, that's cool. Man, there's some 8 million people in L.A. Have a good day. He's going to sit there. He's going to think about it. He's going to be messed up for the whole entire day. Because 90% of people don't get started with you because they're worried about you making money off of them. So if they feel that you are making money off them, they won't get started. But if you take it away from them, they're going to come asking for it. Does that make sense? Auto ships. Auto ships. In every company, auto ships, 90% of the company is the cream of the what? Crop. Crop. Customers retire you. Everybody say customers. Customers. Retire. Retire. You. You. Anyone that drinks this coffee for seven days, not one. You give one, somebody one sachet, they are not sold. You get them on this product for seven days, you're not allowed them to drink their nasty stuff, they are coming as a customer. Guaranteed. Does that make sense? Yes. Auto ship dates. Understand, our auto ship dates, we got the 1st, the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, 20th, and 25th. Those are the dates that your auto ships are set. Build one auto ship date at a time. That's how you hit the ranks here in Gano Life. So if you enroll 10 people, you want to enroll them on a $100 a month auto ship. Why? Because everybody makes more money. If you got 1,000 people at 50, 
or you got a thousand people at a hundred, think about that. It takes you twice as long to get to where you're trying to get to. But if everyone's at a hundred dollars, you teach them how to sell two boxes and they consume the other, they're good. That makes sense. You want to have your dates on one to two dates max, but I still push for one date. So if you're trying to climb up the ranks on the first of the month, I know, I know some of our leaders here, I know their authorship dates. I know Lorianne has one date, which is the fifth, which is a huge, huge authorship. Huge. So she's going to rank for sure on that date because we got to hit ranks every single week. Does that make sense? So if you enroll 10 people at a $100 customer, and you teach them how to do the same thing. That's 100 people buying $100 worth of coffee on one auto ship date. That's 10,000 points. What's 10,000 points if it's on your pay leg? There you go. Are we making this difficult? Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Increase your auto ships. Everybody. If you're doing this for business, you got to increase your auto ship. If you only spend $50 a month, you can never tell anyone else to spend more. Right? Each personal is a gyno shop. I'm almost done here. This is the most important thing that I want to share with you guys. Each person you enroll, you want to look at them as a gyno coffee shop. Okay? Don't look at them as people. Look at them as a brick and mortar location. My job, this is one of my personals here. Everybody look at me. This is my new Gano store I just opened in Lakewood. Okay? My job, my goal is to help him do 10,000 in sales every single week. If he do 10,000 in sales, he's happy at 20%. He makes two grand a week. Guess what I make? Two grand. But guess what? If I do that 10 times, I make two, 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 two. What's two times 10? 20,000 a week. Who could use extra $20,000 a week? But I, wanna, I gotta sit down with him, I gotta explain to him, listen, you are my story. You are my story. It's important that we get busy. We're gonna get your first managers and we're gonna help your managers each do a thousand dollars in sales a week. So if we got your ten managers to do a thousand dollars in sales a week, which is what star five hundred. You get ten thousand in, in points, and I get ten thousand in points, and then they duplicate the system over and over again. Now he's gone. He's done on his auto ship date. That's my first. So I know on the first, I'm getting ten thousand. I'm gonna go over here and put somebody in on the, on the fifteenth. How many people, people used to get in a check twice a month? Most people. So now let's build a 15 payday. Now I got that built, I'm gonna go over here on the fifth. This is five year commitment. I'm gonna do it on the fifth. Now I'm gonna go over here on the 20th. Now you're paid as every single week. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right? Quick formula, if you help each of your 10 personal, you gotta go five left, five right, achieve platinum, which is 4,000 points, 2,000 left, 2,000 right. Not only do they get a Mercedes-Benz pay, payment, but you will achieve $20,000 a week in your pay leg. You got to break it down, though. See, what we're doing is we're enrolling people and saying, go. Let's go get some people. No, it's volume. Mike, hey, let's do it. Let's do a boutique. Greg Nardo, every single week, ordering anywhere from $800 to $1,500 a week in product. Why? Because he has what going on? Events. Y y Yolanda, same thing. Those boutiques, three, four. So Artists is creating groups that are purchasing five, eight, a thousand dollars a week in product because they're tripling their investment by selling it cup by cup. And we're going to talk about that in the next training. All right? 20,000 a week in your pay leg pays four to six thousand dollars a week. Anybody can use that? Okay, we're good to go. And that's it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you.